All right, so today we're going to be covering how to set up an ME system, just the basics of it, and a little bit on how to actually craft some of this stuff. It's not that difficult, but in Sky Factory, there's two different ways to do it. So the first one is to use the subscriber. And you need, uh, let's just look at this, the logic press. So you need to put that in the inscriber like that to make the processors, to make all the different little circuits that you need to make several different things. But also, if we click down to this, you can see it requires the logic press, and you need those from loot bags, from mobs, and that can be kind of hard to get. So they added in the old uh, Applied Energistics 1. Uh, what's it called? recipes. So you need a certus course to make. This does cost a little bit more, but it's a lot easier. And this had a, this uh it wears down like a tool, so you don't have to craft a bunch of them. You don't have to make a new one every single time you make one. Silicon can be gotten from I think the, the sag mill from Samson. Could be wrong. It's one of those. One of the Ender IO machines. It was uh, not the swag mill, but the other one. Anyways, uh, those are the two things you use. You can either use the inscriber or the surges cutting knife to make your different things. And it tells you how to do certain things. So if we wanted to look at our ME controller, right? We just click on it in NEI, and then it gives you all the items we need. Skystone, and if you don't know how to get Skystone, you can check out one of my other videos that tells you how to do that. But, uh, make this pure Certus Flux Crystal. Drop a Flux Seed made from Flux Dust and some little puddle of water. So you basically you take some sand and toss it inside here, and it will automatically convert it into those pure Certus. And there's a lot of videos on the ME system itself. But anyways, for hooking this up, we want to first start with our controller. As you can see, it lit up. That's because it's connected to power. You always want to send your power into this. And then your next thing you're going to want to need, put it on any side of this block. It's our ME drive. And that's where we're going to put our storage cells. So whatever we do put in the ME system, we always need these storage cells as like a hard drive to a computer. So we got a 1K and or 1K storage cell. There's I believe 4K, 8K, 16, and 64. And the more the higher the number it is, the more complex it is to make, but it also holds a whole lot more. Next you want to make this uh, glass cable. You can just place this down. You can place it down just like this. It detects that it's connected to this block here. So you can put this on the top, the side, the front, wherever you like it. I'm going to put it right here on the side. And it sticks out like this. And the same thing, you can uh, stick your ME crafting terminal anywhere on this, uh, this side. You can put it facing down, up, wherever. I'm going to put it here just because it kind of makes sense. And then now you have access to your ME system. And you can put apples or whatever they're just cutting whatever you like inside of it. I mean, let's say you have a ton of items in here and you're searching for maybe apple, it'll bring up everything. Apple, redstone, since we don't have any redstone, it's not going to be in there. But also, if you notice, we put items in there. Uh, it has two types of 63, which means it's going to hold 63 different items in that single storage cell, but it will also has a thousand bytes so that's like I'm not sure how many each one of these is it was that at the 21 bytes is that down to 16 so maybe this thing so it doesn't take that much anyways uh, that's it. <laughs> um, I kind of rambled off there. If you want something more advanced, like how to connect different things into the ME system, import items and export them out of the ME system, uh, just 
just comment below and I'll make a video on that.